Hello YouTube! As you can see, this is a brand new channel. This is my first video and I'm so excited to be making it. In typical beauty guru fashion, I'm going to be doing December favorites since we are in the new year and I thought that would be a very good way to start out my channel. The first favorite I have is the perfect lipstick for the perfect matte red lip. It's a lipstick by Ben Nye called Bordeaux. So as you can see, there's no shimmer except for just reflecting the light a little bit. And it's very, very pigmented. You don't need a lot. It's a surprisingly moisturizing lipstick, so I'm very happy with that one. I've been wearing that one a lot. And as you can see from right now, I do not shy away from wearing bright lipsticks or maybe a very unique eyeshadow look on a daily basis. You just need to have fun with makeup and wear whatever you think is right for you and right for your situation, whether you're in high school or college or if you have a job depending on the job atmosphere. Just have fun with your makeup no matter what and try to do something different on an everyday basis. That's definitely something that I try. The second favorite that I have, I'll give you a little hint with the packaging, it is a Revlon lip butter. And I actually just bought this yesterday, but it's already a favorite because I think that the texture is just amazing. I don't know why I waited so long to buy one of these, and now I just want to buy every one of them, preferably in bulk. The shade that I got is called Pink Truffle. It's right there. It's a very nice nude pink with a hint of brown, but it's obviously not too dark. I think it's just going to be a great everyday color, something really good to throw on when I just don't necessarily feel like wearing a full lipstick, but just want something hydrating. You just have to love those Revlon lip butters, and I plan on buying a lot more when I can. <laughs> Now the next two favorites that I have are eyeshadows. First one that I have is a NYX Single Eyeshadow. The shade is called Midnight. And as you can see, it's a dark grayish brown, sort of black with uh, some silver glitter in it. Here is a swatch of it right here. It comes off so nicely. And what I really like about this shadow is that you can either go very lightly for a very light smoky look, or you can build it up and really add some more definition to whatever color eyeshadow you have on. The next eyeshadow I have is one that is quite famous, quite loved by everyone on YouTube. It seems like Satin Taupe by MAC. Beautiful taupey color of kind of violet brown. It really reflects the light very nicely and it is a frost finish if you want to know. And again, everyone and their mother on YouTube has swatched and worn this, but there is a swatch of it just in case you would like to see. And I love wearing these two together for kind of a kind of a twist on the everyday neutral look. Just is a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to wear, and I plan on wearing that until, you know, the end of time or possibly the end of winter, I don't know. The next and last beauty related favorite that I have is this Nivea Creme. It's a very, very thick and hydrating cream. And like many people in the winter time, I get very, very dry hands and very dry feet. And as you can imagine, that can be very, very uncomfortable. And this has been my absolute saving grace lately. Very thick white cream and the smell is sort of florally, it's very light, very feminine, and is honestly kind of like something that you would expect your grandmother to wear. However, I still really like it. The smell lingers a little bit, but not, not for too long. It's not unpleasant, it's not very strong, and overall, this is just a great product for keeping my hands and feet hydrated and keeping them comfortable in that way. I also really like the packaging. It's so, it's so plain. It's in a regular round blue container, but I just think it's really nice. It's not overly done. So I will definitely be keeping that by my bedside for the rest of winter. For some random favorites, since I am on winter break from my first college semester, I've had a lot of time to get into some really good TV shows and watch some good movies, listen to some really good music. So some TV that I've been loving lately, one is American Horror Story. I ship Violet and Tate so hard, it's not even funny. And I just think it's a really interesting show. It's so different from anything else that I've ever seen on TV. The characters are all so complicated and intriguing. Overall, it's just something that I've been really enjoying. I highly recommend. The first season is over, but I am very excited for the next season. As long as Ryan Murphy doesn't take away the original cast, I will be very angry if he does. And overall, it's just a really good show. Great storyline. 
I really can't rave about it enough. However, if you don't like a little bit of horror and gore and spooky things, maybe it's not for you. The next show that I've been absolutely loving is The Big Bang Theory. If you haven't watched this already, it's absolutely hilarious. I grew up with a lot of people in my family who are very math and science oriented, so maybe I just like it because I can understand most of the references that they make, but it's a very, like, nerdy comedy, and I just enjoy it. I think it's so funny. I sort of wish I had a Sheldon of my own, but I also would like the ability to make him disappear every now and then. Characters are just hilarious, and it's a show that you don't necessarily need to pay very strong attention to or watch it on a really regular basis. Basically, if you miss an episode, you won't You'll be able to understand it when you catch up. But it's just it's very entertaining to watch. And I strongly recommend it if you haven't checked it out already. For movies, I've been loving the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's something that my dad and I watch almost every holiday season while I'm on winter break. And it's overall, you know, Everyone knows what Lord of the Rings is. It's just a very good story, beautiful scenery, beautiful costumes. Overall, I just enjoy both the books and the movies. Now, speaking of books and movies, here's a series that I always preferred the books instead of the movies, but I think that might be changing, and that's Harry Potter. I recently saw both parts of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I used to hate the Harry Potter movies, but I love the books, but I think I am a convert now, so I might have to catch up on the rest of the movies because I haven't seen um, the rest of them besides some of the Goblet of Fire, so maybe I should watch all of them and see if my opinion really has changed. For music, I've been absolutely loving the band The Mountain Goats. If you watch The Vlogbrothers, you're probably quite familiar with them because John Green, he just can't get enough of them, and I can't either at this point. I will go ahead and link one of my favorite songs in the bottom bar below. Their lyrics are absolutely beautiful. It's a very good band to listen to if you kind of like acoustic music, and what I love is that all of their songs seem to tell kind of a little story. They're absolutely incredible, and I highly recommend that you check them out. I think that's it for my December favorites. Thank you so much for watching my first video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like for future videos. I promise I have some really good stuff planned, and I just wish you all a very happy new year, and I will see you very soon. Bye!